What's going on, fellow Couchers and Craftettes, and welcome back to another video. My name's Creek, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything there is to know about installing Minecraft mods. Now, this video is going to be split into three sections. You can access those sections via annotations at the top of the video player. Uh, section one is going to be going over the prerequisites, what you need to have before you can start installing Minecraft mods. Section two will be installing Minecraft Forge, and section three will be installing a couple of mods. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on into section one. Alright, so what do you need to have before you can start installing Minecraft mods? Well, there's a couple things. I've made a little list here. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a copy of Minecraft. Now, since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you already have Minecraft and have an understanding of what Minecraft is. Um, but if you don't have Minecraft, you can download it and buy it from Minecraft.net. I'll have a link in the description of the video below. Now, you're also going to need to have Java installed which is something I'm also going to assume you already have, um, but something to note here, and a lot of people don't know this, is on the Minecraft page, so if I go to download it here, so if I download the game, uh, they actually have a Minecraft installer and a new launcher that you can download that has Java pre-installed with it. So you don't have to worry about updating your Java version, you don't have to worry about installing the right, you know, version of Java for your operating system it comes with Minecraft so here's the new launcher here and as you can see it comes with Java pre-installed so if you don't have the new launcher I'd go ahead and recommend uh, checking it out and downloading it now the next thing you're gonna need is Minecraft Forge which we will get to in the next section uh, Minecraft Forge is completely free it's a modding API and you have to have it to install any type of mod for Minecraft else it will not work but again we'll get to that in the next section um, and then lastly, you're going to need a clean dot Minecraft. Now, what I mean by that is if we go to uh, our percent app data where Minecraft is installed, uh, you do that by pressing the Windows key and R on your keyboard. This will bring up run. And in run, you're going to type in percent app data percent, percent app data percent. And then once you have that, you're going to click OK. And this is going to bring up your roaming folder. And this is where your Minecraft is installed right here. The entirety of your Minecraft is installed in this folder called .minecraft. And uh, this is the folder you're going to want to get very familiar with because you're going to be playing around with it quite a bit. Now in this folder you can see we have you know our saves, um, which I don't have any. Uh, you know our different profiles and all the good stuff that Minecraft installs. And um, we're going to need to make a clean one. Okay, so I've played around in this one. It's not clean. It's not a clean Minecraft installation. And maybe you have some worlds that you want to keep. Maybe you have uh, you know, some mods already. That's okay. What we're going to want to do is make a new folder on our desktop. We'll just name it Backup. And we'll just move it right on over here. Now you can put this anywhere. You don't have to put it on your desktop. Uh, you can put it anywhere you want. Um, but now we're going to take our .minecraft folder. And we're just going to cut and paste it into our Backup. So as you can see, we no longer have a .minecraft in our roaming folder. It is in our backup. So this way, if something happens during the installation process of Forge and mods, something goes terribly wrong, um, the Minecraft that you already have, the Minecraft you have now, is backed up, and you can always just drag it back into the roaming folder, and uh, it'll be good to go. Um, so keep this and uh, you'll always have a Minecraft ready to uh, fall back on just in case stuff goes bad. But with that being said, and that dot .minecraft in our backup, we're just going to leave that there. Now we're going to need to make a clean dot .minecraft. So how we do that is uh, we start up Minecraft now, and this is actually going to generate a brand new dot .minecraft. Uh, as you can see, there it is. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to log into the Minecraft launcher, and I will be right back. Alright, so I just logged into the Minecraft launcher, and uh, this is what you're going to see with a clean .minecraft. Um, and what we're going to want to do, and this is very important, pay attention uh, to this part next, uh, very important. You're going to want to edit profile. And now, this is again very important, whatever version uh, mods or Minecraft Forge you're going to install, this is the version of, of a profile that you're going to need to make. So for example, I'm going to be installing Minecraft Forge 1.8 for Minecraft version 1.8. Um, if you were, if you were installing 
uh, Minecraft version 1.7.10, you'd need to make a 1.7.10 profile. If you were installing Minecraft Forge 1.9, you'd need to make a 1.9 profile. But I'm installing Minecraft Forge 1.8 for version 1.8. So we're going to need to go down here to use version and we're going to need to scroll down to release 1.8. Again, if you are installing Minecraft Forge for 1.7.10, you'd want to click 1.7.10. If you were installing it for 1.8.5, you'd need to click 1.8.5. Whatever version you're installing Minecraft Forge for, that's the version that you need to, uh, to select here. Again, 1.8, so we're going to select 1.8, click Save Profile and click play and this is going to generate a clean minecraft 1.8 profile that we can install forge to and so i'm going to let this finish and we'll be right back all right so minecraft has started up and we have a clean minecraft 1.8 that we can install minecraft forge 1.8 into so now i'm going to click a uh, quick game and you can leave your app data roaming up and as you can see we now have a clean Minecraft uh, installation that we can install Forge into. So with that being said, let's proceed into section two. All right, so now that you have your clean.minecraft and your old.minecraft backed up, uh, you're gonna need to install Minecraft Forge. Now to do that, you're gonna go to files.minecraftforge.net. I will have a link to this in the description of the video or you can Google Minecraft Forge, it should be the first link. Now, this website is a little daunting, but um, here you're going to select the version that you want to install. We're going to install 1.8, like I mentioned before, so we're going to click 1.8. If you were selecting 1.7, you'd click you know, 1.7.10, uh, 1.6.4, whatever version you're going to install. And now we have latest and recommended. And the difference between these two is the recommended release is guaranteed, bug-free, no crashes, nothing can go wrong, right? The latest version nothing will probably go wrong there's probably not any bugs but it may and that's pretty much the difference between the latest and recommended version we're going to install the latest version because i am i'm a risky little guy and i love to take risk um but usually nothing will go long uh, go wrong by using the latest version um but if you are worried about that you can use the recommended version but um since we have windows we are going to download the installer for windows if you had uh, any other platform or operating system, you'd need to download the appropriate installer for that. But we're going to click Installer Windows. And this is going to take us to this, where we're going to wait 5 seconds, 3, 2, 1, and click Skip. And now this is going to download Forge 1.8, uh, you know, that, the release that we just selected. And now we're going to click this to open up the installer click yes I'm not sure if you saw that it was basically a security warning it's okay you don't have to worry about it and now we can minimize this close this and now this pops up here now if you're installing it for a server you'd want to click install server but we're installing it for a single player client so we're gonna want to make sure that's selected this is uh, selected to our dot minecraft which is right here and we're gonna click OK and that is going to install minecraft forge into our dot minecraft and I'm just gonna let this finish up and uh, we will be right back. All right, successfully installed client profile forge for version one point, yeah, whatever. Uh, so okay, it is good to go. Minecraft Forge is now installed in our dot Minecraft. So now we're going to start up Minecraft again. And here, now that we have Forge installed, we're gonna go to profile and we're gonna select Forge profile. And now we're gonna click play and this should launch our Forge profile. And if we go into our .minecraft, you should see that the mods folder, there it is right there, gets created. And this is where you're going to install your mods into. So we're going to let uh, Forge finish booting up here. We can uh, watch this awesome progress bars. Look at how awesome that is. And so now, as you can see, Forge is installed, Minecraft version 1.8. And Forge comes with, it's like three parts. We have the coder pack. Uh, mod loader and minecraft forge that's all good so if your screen looks similar to this you're good to go and we can proceed into section three which is installing mods all right so now that minecraft forge is fully installed and working we're going to want to quit and uh, open back uh, our dot minecraft folder okay so open this back up and go into our mods folder here and this is where you're going to install 99 0.9% of every mod out there. 
Okay, and I actually have two mods that I'm going to go through the process and show you guys how to do. I have the Hit Splat Damage Indicators mod, and this mod has no prerequisites. And what I mean by that is some mods uh, require other mods uh, for that mod to work. So for some mods, you have to download like two files. For other mods, you have to download three files. Uh, but for most, you only have to download one. And this is an example of just a regular old Minecraft mod installation. So I'd recommend, of course, reading the installation section. Uh, but we already know how to do that because we're super smart and ethereal. And uh, so right here, download Damage indicators 1.8, if you selected 1.7.10 and installed Minecraft Forge 1.7.10, you'd want to download this version, so on and so forth. We're going to click 1.8. This is going to take us to good old AdFly. Everyone knows what this website is. Wait our five seconds. And click skippity, skippity, skip. Skip, 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 skip. And we're going to click keep. Uh, some antivirus programs will freak out because, oh my god, it's a jar file. Holy crap. It's going to blow up our computer. Don't worry about it. Um... If you, you know, do your research on mods and uh, trust, you know, the reviews and stuff, normally uh, you don't have to worry about anything like that. So here's our jar here, and that is going to be in our downloads folder. So I'm just going to open up another file explorer here and go into our downloads folder. And here it is right here, damage indicators mod 1.8. We're going to drag that into our mods folder. So now damage indicators is installed, and if we start up Minecraft here, and I'd recommend starting at Minecraft every mod you install. That way, if something breaks or it crashes, you know what mod it is that's causing it. So if Minecraft were to crash right now, it'd guarantee be this mod that made it crash. So we can you know take that out and deal with it appropriately. But uh, go ahead and minimize all this, and hopefully Minecraft does not crash. Hopefully it opens, and it is good to go. Please be good to go. That'd be kind of embarrassing. And uh, as you can see now... Four mods loaded. If we go to mods, bam, there we go. Damage indicators is installed. So now we're going to quit. And now we're going to install the chicken bones, not enough items. And this is an example of a mod that we have, has a prerequisite mod. It requires two files to download for it to work uh, correctly. So we're going to go to downloads and installation. And now we're going to select our version, Minecraft version 1.8. And um, we're going to go to the latest version because, again, we're just risky little uh, beavers, and we do that. And so I'm going to download the universal version uh, of Not Enough Items. Actually, you know what? Let me go back, and I'll just open it in another tab here, so that way we stay on the screen. And um, Not Enough Items requires Code Chicken Core to work, and you'll know that if you read the installation uh, on this page here. Uh, but I already know that, so we're going to download both of these, Co Chicken Core and Not Enough Items. We're going to click here and wait our seven or so seconds, and uh, our two seconds here. Skip Add. Okay, there we go. Keep File. There's Co Chicken Core. We can close this, and now we should have to wait five more seconds, and this should be Not Enough Items, both downloaded from this page here. There we go, skip add and keep, and there, uh, there is not enough items. So now we're going to minimize this and go back into our downloads folder. And here are those two files. We'll just drag them to our desktop. There we go. Here they are. And now we're going to open up our Minecraft mods folder and we're going to uh, drag both of these in. So again, not enough items requires this mod to work. So you're going to want to download both, uh, both um, mods here. And now we're going to open up Minecraft and click play. And now it should say six mods installed with not enough items and, of course, Code Chicken Core. And hopefully it does do that. Wait for the uh, luxurious loading bars to load. There we go, and there it is, six mods installed. So if we go down here, we have a code chicken core and not enough items. So there we go, that is pretty much how you install Minecraft Forge from the get-go. Uh, oh yes, vote for net neutrality, fist pop in the air. But uh, that is it, that is all there is to it. Any other mods, you just drag and drop into the mods folder unless otherwise uh, specified on the mod page. But uh, if you guys have any questions, 
be sure to leave them below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If this video helped you out, please be sure to give it a like on your way out. It would really help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as more come out. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!